Hey guys, today we'll see how to programmatically spawn an object to create it at specific locations. I'll be using the 3.0 version of Blender. Now, suppose you created an object like a tree and now want to spawn it multiple times in the scene. You could use particles, but they don't give you full control. If you want to add the tree objects at specific locations, you can use Python. So, here's what we are going to do. First, we'll model a simple tree then we'll add a plane, select some vertices on the plane and spawn the trees at the selected vertices. And we'll do it by means of a Python script. So, let's get to work. Here are the steps to follow. Step 1. Model a tree. First, let's delete the default cube and add a cylinder. Let's go to front view, move it up a bit, G, Z, 1, one unit, enter to confirm. Let's go to edit mode and let's move the origin point to its base. So let's select all if it's not selected and hit G, Z, 1. Enter. Let's go back to object mode and move the cylinder down. So G, Z, negative 1. Enter. As you can see, the origin point is now here at the bottom. Let's scale the cylinder. Let's scale it down on the X and Y axis. So hit S, Shift Z, 0.2 Enter So this is the trunk of the tree Go to edit mode Toggle on the show x-ray button And select the vertices at the top Extrude and scale E S 4 Enter Extrude again, E2, Enter. Merge the vertices at the center. So, go to Mesh, Merge at center. And here's our simple tree in edit mode. And in object mode, let's go to object mode. After shading it smooth, so object shade smooth, it looks even better. Step 2. Add materials to the tree. So, with the tree selected, let's go to the material tab, add a new material, and set the base color to a shade of green that you like. Maybe a bit darker. Fine, let's go to Material Preview, Shading, so that we can see the colors in action. Now, let's go to Edit Mode. And in Edit Mode, select just the faces that make up the trunk. So, in Face Select Mode, Let's select the faces that make up the trunk. Let's make sure they're all selected. Good. And now let's assign a new material to the trunk. So hit here on the plus sign button and then add new. Set the color of the material to a shade of brown. So let's say something a bit darker, like this, fine. And hit the Assign button to assign the material to just the selected faces. Good, let's deselect all and see what it looks like. We're almost done with the tree, let's go back to Object Mode and rename the cylinder Tree in the Outliner. Enter. 
Good. The last thing we have to do is apply the scale. Hit N to open the sidebar. Item. And now, have a look at scale. It's not 1. At least not on X and Y. In order to make it 1, go to the Object menu, select Apply, and select Scale. Now, it's uniformly scaled. The factor is 1 on each axis. Step 3. Add the plane. Now that we have a tree model, let's add a plane that will be the ground the trees will be spawned on. So, hit Shift A, Mesh Plane. Scale it by a factor of 50, so S50. Enter. Let's zoom out and orbit a little. This is our plane. Now let's go to Edit Mode and Subdivide it. You will find the Subdivide option in the Edge menu. Edge, Subdivide. And here, in this panel, let's change the number of cuts to 100. Good. Let's add some health. So, deselect all, go to Tab View, and select some vertices. Let's go to Vertex Select Mode, and for example here, 1, Shift, 2, 3, 4, 5. Doesn't actually matter so much. Now, enable proportional editing here, and let's move the selected vertices up. So, hit G, Z, 6. Now, make sure the proportional editing circle is big, otherwise you will get something like this. Let's say about 25. You can see the size of the proportional size circle in the top left corner. Now it's 25.55. Let's hit enter to confirm. And now we have some hills on the ground. Step 5. Add a material to the plane. So, let's go to Object Mode. The plane is selected. Let's add a new material and set its base color to a shade of brown. Ah, uh, something like this. Looks fine. Step 6. Create a new collection. As we're gonna create quite a few tree objects, it's a good idea to put them in a separate collection. This will help us keep things organized. To add a new collection, right-click over here on Scene Collection and select New Collection. Rename the collection Trees. And drag the tree object into the collection. Step 7. Select the locations to spawn at. We're ready to finally write the script, but before we do, let's go to Edit Mode with the plane selected, Top View. Now let's deselect all, and now let's manually select the vertices where we want to spawn the trees. Let's start with just a couple vertices, like 10. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, these are the locations where the trees will be spawned. So, this is what we want. 10 trees at these exact locations. Let's save. Step 8. Write the Python script. 
So with the vertices selected, let's go to scripting workspace here and add a new script. New. And now let's type in the code. So I will type the code in one go. This is with comments where everything is explained. And now let's go over the code line by line to see what it should do. So first we have to import the BPY module. This is the module we need to do most stuff in Blender Python. Then let's assign our tree object to a variable. Let's call the variable tree. Now we have BPY data object tree. So this assigns this object over here, tree, to this variable. Let's access the active object, which is the plane. Now the plane is selected, so this is the active object. So here the plane is saved, active object. Now we can create the list of all the vertices that we just selected. To do that, we can use a list comprehension. We use coarray of the mesh vertex struct to access the local vertex coordinate. In order to get global vertex coordinates, we must multiply it by the word transformation matrix. So here's the list comprehension where all the selected vertices are added to the list. And here we're multiplying by the word transformation matrix because we need global vertex coordinates. Now we can loop through all the selected vertices and add a tree at each of them. So we have a list of all the positions where the trees should be spawned. Now for each of these positions, do the following. We need a name for each tree, so let's create it by concatenating the word tree with the coordinates of the tree. Name equals tree, and here are the coordinates. Now we can create a new tree. Give it the name and object data from the original tree. We'll assign new tree to a variable. So new tree equals BPY data objects new. Here we have the name and here we have the object data, which is the tree data. We'll position the tree at the coordinates of the selected vertex. So new tree location equals vertex 0, vertex 1, vertex 2. These are the three coordinates. Finally, let's add the tree to the trees collection. So BPY data collections, trees, so we're selecting this collection that we created, trees, link new tree. Good. This code should run correctly. So step nine, run the script. But before you run the script, make sure the plane is selected in object mode. So let's go to object mode over here. Yes, the plane is selected, that's fine. Now we can go back to edit mode and watch the selected vertices and the trees that will appear there. So let's zoom out a bit. Now you should be able to see in a minute the trees appear here, here and at the other locations that we selected. Now to run the script, just hit the run script button over here. Good. And now you can see the trees. Good. Let's go back to the layout workspace and here are the trees. At the locations that we selected. Step 10, a more complex example. The example works fine, but let's add some variation to it. We can additionally randomly rotate and scale each new tree. Besides, we'll add more trees. Before you continue, hit Ctrl Z to undo the previous operation. So these trees are gone. Then go to Tab View and deselect all. Then in the Select menu, select Select random and set ratio to 0.1, which means 10%. Now 10% of the vertices are selected. Go to scripting workspace and modify the script. I will just paste in the new script, which is very similar to the previous one but with more functionality added. Let's have a look at the script again. So, as before, we need the BPY module. Then we also need some functions from the random module to randomize the rotation and scale of the trees. So from random input rendent uniform. 
we'll rotate the trees by the rotation Euler method that we're gonna use accepts angles in radians. So we can use the radians function from the math module in order to convert degrees to radians. Let's assign our tree object to a variable like before, so it takes the tree object from here and assigns it to tree. Let's access the active object, which is the plane, like before. So this is our active object, our plane. And now we can create the list of all the vertices that we just selected. Just like before, we're going to use a list comprehension to do that. So selected equals, we have to multiply by the uh, world transformation matrix in order to get the global vertex coordinates. So selected is now the list of all these vertices that were selected. And now we can loop through all the selected vertices and add a tree at each of them. So here's the loop for vertex in selected. And here's how we are going to add each tree. So first we need a name for each tree again. So let's create it by concatenating the word tree with the coordinates of the tree, just like before. Now we can create a new tree, give it the name and the object data from the original tree, and we'll assign the new tree to a variable, just like before. New tree equals BPY data objects new, name equals name, object data equals tree data. So it takes the data from this object over here. Now we position the tree at the coordinates of the selected vertex, just like before. New tree location equals vertex zero, vertex one, and vertex two. So this is exactly the same as before. But now there's something new. Now we need random angles for all three axes. They should be between negative 10 and 10 degrees for the X and Y axis and between negative 45 and 45 for the Z axis. So this is to rotate the trees in all three axes randomly. So angle X, angle Y, angle Z. We're using here the random function to assign a random value from this range to this variable and the same for angle Y and angle Z. Now we can use the angles to rotate the tree. We must remember to use radians. So let's use the radians function to convert from degrees. New tree rotation order equals radians angle X, radians angle Y, radians angle Z. We also want to scale the trees randomly so that they look more natural. Let's pick a random scale between 0.6 and 3, for example. So scale equals uniform 0.6 3. This function is used to assign a random value from this range, which is a float number. Now let's use the same scale for all three axes. New tree scale equals scale, 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 x, y, z. Finally, let's add a tree to the trees collection, just like before. So BPY data collections trees, this is for this collection, objects link new tree. Good. So, the script is ready to run. Let's make sure in object mode that the plane is selected. Let's go back to edit mode and now we can run the script. So let's hit this button over here. And now you can see a lot of trees. Let's go back to layout workspace. And as you can see, the trees were added only at the locations that we selected. They are now rotated and scaled randomly. We have big trees, small trees, and they are rotated in different directions. Let's go to object mode to see better. Fine. Now we have a little forest. Good. And that's it. This is how you can spawn objects at locations that you pick yourself. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.